was the night before Christmas I was closing down for business In my little prison shop When the bell on the door Jingled once more And then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas on, from this Christmas on. to what will this be I think this is supposed to be my book miss day five video so this will be a reading vlog so welcome so I figured I would pop in to do this intro and let you know what I will be reading this week so first thing I am reading icebreaker by Hannah Grace on my kindle I got I showed an unboxing of it but I got this adorable little kindle sleeve case from Bookbow, which was recommended to me by my best friend Lachlan over at Locks Library. So she has a, a bunch of cases like this um, and it's really, really good quality and it fits my Kindle like perfectly. So I'm really glad I got this, but yeah, I got this earlier, but I am, I don't know why I pulled this out. I'm just gonna pop a picture up on the screen, but I'm reading Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I have been so hyped for this book. I have wanted to read it for a while now and I just kept putting it off because I was like I gotta read it at the right time and then when I knew I was gonna have it be on my December TBR even though I was in the mood to read it in November I was like no no 
I have to wait. So I've just been like hyping it up in my head since like I've been in the mood to pick it up. Basically, this is a college romance. It is a figure skater hockey player romance. And we're following dual points of view. So we follow Anastasia, who is the figure skater, and Nathan, who is the hockey player. And they go to the same college and something happens to one of the ice rinks. And so the hockey team and the figure skating team have to share an ice rink. And so there's a little bit of forced proximity. I was going to use this for the Cupid prompt for the reindeer readathon which i'm participating in if you did not know i'm on team mistletoe but the cupid prompt is to read a book with your favorite trope in it and if you know me at all you know my favorite trope is like hate to love or enemies to lovers rivals to lovers whatever you want to call it hate to love is my bread and butter i that's by far and away my favorite trope is hate to love but this <laughs> It's not really hate to love. It's not really hate to love. If anything, it's kind of insta lovey, but it's really cute. I'm still liking it, but I don't think it fits for hate to love because they, they don't, I was expecting them to like really butt heads, like having to share their ring space. Um, I thought that they were gonna like clash a lot more and they really like hit it off right away. They became friends pretty quickly and friends with benefits pretty quickly. So it's kind of got that like very insta lovey uh, feel to it, which normally would bother me, but it's just, it's very cute and I am enjoying it. I think I'm about somewhere around 50% of the way through this. So I've, you know, I've accepted that there's not going to be like a lot of like tension and build up to the relationship because they they just like each other from like right off the get go. But yeah, it is very cute. I really like the the hockey figure skating aspect to it because I personally love hockey. Um, I like, I mean, I like figure skating too, no shade to figure skating, but I love hockey so much. So anytime there's a hockey romance, I'm instantly on board. So I'm really, really liking it. So I'll probably end up finishing that tomorrow. It's Thursday today, it's December 1st, but on Thursdays I usually hang out with my friend Maggie. And so we're gonna go out to dinner and then I think we're going to watch a show, play some games or something like that. I don't know, I might read a little bit later tonight, but I definitely don't think I'll finish it but I'll probably finish it tomorrow. I also wanted to talk a little bit about Daisy Hates 2, The Great Undoing, because the cover was just revealed today. So I'll pop up the cover of it on the screen. I'm so excited to have the physical copy in my hands. I love Jessa Hastings book covers. I just think they're so stunning. They're so iconic. I just love that she hides, or like the artists. I love that there's like little hints to things little like subtle nods to things that are mentioned in the stories like incorporated into the covers and I really like I really like this cover I like all of them but I really like this cover as soon as that book gets released I'm reading it so and I got some book mail today so I opened it already but oh well um, it's Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent which I am so excited to get to look at how freaking beautiful the naked hardcover is. I just love it. And I really like the actual cover. I love the red. There's like sticky stuff on it though. What is that? I don't know. I think I need to clean that off. But I'm really excited to read this one. I was originally going to read this in November, but Rachel from Ravenhead Reader, Bestie Rachel, gifted me The Serpent and the Wings of Night by this author. And I read that absolutely loved it and so I read that as my like in place of this one because this was on my November TBR but now this one is on my December TBR so I will for sure be picking this up in December and I have a feeling that this could be a favorite of the year I'm hoping it's a five-star prediction for sure so hopefully I really like it I liked Carissa Broadbent's writing so I'm very eager to start this one and it does fit one of the prompts for the reindeer readathon I can't remember which one I think maybe Rudolph is start a new series and this is the first book in the War of Lost Hearts series so yeah, so lots of um, lots of little little updates for this uh, first day of the vlog, but I will likely check in tomorrow sometime when I finish Icebreaker and give you my final thoughts on that and when I decide to pick up something else. Hello everyone, it is now Friday night and I literally just finished reading Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. <sighs> 
I'm not sure what I want to rate this one. I think like a 3.5 is what I'm going to settle for. So it, it had so much potential with the like the premise of this book where the figure skater and the hockey player have to share like ice space um and it could have really could have really been something but it was it was cute but it was like so insta lovey like there was no like butting heads there was no like annoyance with each other it was very much like they were just like instantly friends they got along right away and then they were into each other and together like the entire book so yeah I just I think there was there was more potential for this story that I don't know I was just left kind of wanting it was cute I'm glad that I read it but it wasn't what I wanted from it so I think 3.5 because it was good it was cute and if there are any more books in this series I will pick it up but it wasn't anything amazing so that is that I have finished my first book of December and for the reindeer readathon I don't think it fits any of the prompts let me check actually because the original prompt I was going to use it for was Cupid but it definitely doesn't fit for that because it is not hate to love by any means. Yeah, it doesn't really fit. Doesn't really fit anything. It could go for Vixen because it's a book I want to read, but it might be overhyped. And that one definitely could have been overhyped. Like even before like I read it, I definitely think I I personally hyped it up a lot in my head and then also like Book Talk and Bookstagram also hyped that one up. So I could use it for Vixen. Maybe I'll do that. Um, but then I don't know what I'm going to read next. I'm deciding between two. I've got The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber and I've got A Twist of the Blade by S.M. Gaither. So I'm trying to decide what I'm in the mood for right now. I'm leaning towards A Twist of the Blade but I don't know. I might ask my friends and see what their thoughts are but I speaking of my friends I am just about to go have a movie night with them we're gonna hop on stream and we're gonna watch Anastasia oh, I'm so excited I absolutely love Anastasia it's one of my favorite childhood movies I cannot wait to rewatch it honestly I think that that was my first experience with uh, the hate to love trope it just has such a special place in my heart. I'm so excited to watch it with my friends. So I'm going to hop on stream with Rachel, Lachlan, and Cami, And we're going to watch that because we are, we wanted to rewatch it before we picked up Anastasia by Sophie Lark, which comes out next week. So I'm really excited for that one too. That's going to be good. So I'm going to go hop on stream with them and watch Anastasia and then see which book they think I should read next. So I'll probably check in a little bit later and see what I decided to pick up. But yeah, that is it for this update. So I will see you all in a little bit. everyone it is Sunday now so Brandon and I spent the morning finishing watching Wednesday which was amazing I loved it Ugh, it's such a good show if you haven't watched it yet I highly highly recommend it it's so good and then I also finished filming two more videos so I'm ready to read now and I've actually decided upon neither of the books that I said I was gonna read last time I checked in so I'm actually gonna try to read in its entirety Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J Mass for my read along with Christina. So I have the audiobook. I want to try to read all of this today and then I think I'm going to read The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. So I'm going to be picking these two up but like I said I want to read Catwoman today so I think I'm just going to hunker down on the couch and just try to smash through this take my notes that I need to but yeah this is what I'll be reading and I think this fits what was the prompt what was it called I think I'm going to use this for Donner which is want to read but not a fan of the cover just because like 
I don't know. The cover is not bad. I don't mind the cover, but it's like, I don't know, this part here especially is just kind of like cheesy. I just feel like it could have been done better. So yeah, I'm not, uh, not an overly big fan of the cover. It's fine. I don't hate it, but it's not great either. So I'm going to use this for that prompt. And then I'll also use the bonus prompt for Christmas carols, which is listen to an audiobook. So I'll be listening to the audiobook and following along with this. Yeah, I'm going to go read this. Um, I do have one thing I want to unbox. So it's just this little envelope. Let's open it. Oh, they're so cute. So I got this from the Nook Knacks shop. I did want to get the little, um, the mini figurine of the chapter 55 table and the little mini um, Akatar dresser that Rachel has because I just think they're so cute and every time I look at them I'm like, that would just be so cute on my shelf. But they didn't have those on their shop. But what they did have was the these stickers. And they gave me a little 10% off my next order discount code. So whenever they restock those little miniatures, I'm going to buy them and I'm going to use that uh, discount code. But I got the little wing stickers for the Sarah J Mass men. So the top here is Hunt wings and then we have the bat boy wings. This is, I believe, just Reese's wings. And then we have Rowan's like hawk wings. So I saw somebody stick these on to their bookshelf. I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to use these on my like reading journal for next year. I did order my reading journal. So whenever that comes in, I'll show that to you. But I'm going to I'm going to hold on to these for right now and wait and decide what I want to do with them. But yeah, I think they're really cute. <laughs> so now I'm going to go read. I'm going to go start uh, Catwoman and hopefully make some decent progress into that today. Monday night now. I didn't check in yesterday after I finished Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J Mass. I did finish it all in one day. Um, yeah, I really plowed through that one. So <laughs> I don't really know how to talk about that one. I feel like it is often like forgotten that it's even a Sarah J Mass book, that it even exists. But also like it's so different from anything else that she's ever written. Her writing is still really good. The characters are still really good. I just don't really care about superheroes. So it's like, would I have picked that book up if it was written by anyone else? No, I wouldn't have. <laughs> it's written well, so I don't know. I think I gave it five stars the first time I read it, and that was like years and years and years ago. I think it, whenever it came out was when I read it. But if I was going to rate it purely off my enjoyment now like a 3.5 maybe because like I, like I said I just don't care about superheroes I do really love Harley Quinn and Harley Quinn does show up in this story but I did not like Harley Quinn's character I didn't think it really encapsulated Harley Quinn's character very well <laughs> and I don't know anything about Catwoman so I have no idea if it was done well or not I just I don't know I just it it, it just it just is so I'm gonna move on from that I did start um, reading The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber today. I am about halfway through. I'm on page 202 now and I plan to finish this tonight. So this is the second book. The first book is Once Upon a Broken Heart and I liked that one. I really like Stephanie Garber's writing. I really like how whimsical it is and I like how she tells a story. I think the main downfall of Stephanie Garber's books though is her main characters. They're so annoying. 
I have just come to this conclusion. So in Caraval, I liked the story. I liked the writing. I liked everything that was going on. But Scarlet, the main character in Caraval, I thought she was annoying. I didn't like her. And then Tella in the second book, I liked her in the first book. And then she just got more annoying the more time I spent with her. And now Evangeline is just like really annoying. And I just don't like the main characters. I love the story. I love Jax, the love interest, the guy. I love the writing. So it's like all these things, but the main character, I'm just like, shut up, Evangeline. Like every single time. Oh, I wish that this was just written from Jax's point of view because I probably would like it better because I really do like Jax. Honestly, he's like, you know, holding this book on his shoulders because I just, oh, I just don't like Evangeline. I think she's annoying. I think she's whiny. I think she's naive. She's just not a good main character. She's not fun to read from. But the story itself, the writing, Jax, all good. Evangeline, not good. So that's where I'm at with this one. I I will finish it. I'm going to finish it tonight. But Evangeline's just like really bringing, bringing down the mood here. So who knows what my reading for this will be. I don't even know. We're going to have to see how the ending goes. But just Evangeline, just shut up. The other little update that I have is that I got, I finally got my pop socket for my Kindle. So it says House of Wind Book Club, which I think is just so perfect for a Kindle. And the fact that my two besties got me this Kindle and then like the besties in A Court of Silver Flames. So I'm going to put it on. I've got, um, I've got this clear case on it and I've just I didn't stick stickers to my Kindle I just like put them in the case and then put the case on so it's cute and then the little uh, gift note from Rachel and Lachlan so I think I'm gonna put it um, over here try not to cover that up because I think I'll I like hold my Kindle in my right hand the most yeah I'm gonna stick it on right there okay Look at how cute. Oh, it's perfect. Oh my God, I love it. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so those are basically my only updates for right now. I think I'm gonna go take a bath and relax a little bit, light some candles, and then go finish The Ballad of Never After. I don't know if I will check back in tonight or if I'll just wait till tomorrow. Yeah. So that is it for this little update. I will probably check in with you all tomorrow and give you my final thoughts on Ballad of Never After. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance and days of old lang syne For old lang syne, my dear For old lang syne We'll talk a cup of kindness yet For days of old lang syne And my trusty friend And just a hand of thine we'll talk. Okay, it's later now and I've finished The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. Mm, I did like it, but I also didn't like it. So I'm gonna go with a three star because there were some things that I really liked about it and some things that I really didn't, and that just feels like a middle of the road three star book. I will still pick up the sequel, finale, whatever it's gonna be, whatever it does come out, because I am curious to see how it's gonna end. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I just, Evangeline just really grated on me. So I'm still curious to see where it's gonna go. And I still really like Jax and I really like the story. So three stars is what I'm going with. I did also forget to talk about the Reindeer Readathon and the prompts that I've fulfilled so far. So I did decide to use Icebreaker for the Vixen prompt, which is a book I want to read but maybe overhyped because I think that that 
fits that prompt. And I did the bonus prompt for Christmas lights, which was read an ebook. So I got those two prompts done. And then I used Catwoman for the Donner prompt, which was to read a book that you want to read but didn't like the cover. And that one, I'm like, you know, I talked about that, I think, a little bit, where the cover is just kind of like, eh. And then I also did Christmas Carols, which was to listen to an audiobook because I listened to this on audio. And now this one is going to fulfill Blitzen, which was to get a random number generator and read a book that ends with that number. And my random number was zero, and this is a 400 page book, so it ends on a zero. So it was perfect, so I'll be using it for that. So I have five prompts done for the Reindeer Readathon, which I am quite happy with. Tomorrow I'll be picking up Anastasia by Sophie Lark. It is the release day tomorrow, so I'll be getting it on my Kindle. I think it's like a really long book, though. I think it. Goodreads says it's like 850 Kindle pages, which is long, but I don't know if that fits any of the Reindeer Readathon prompts. I mean, Christmas Star over 500 pages, so it fits a bonus prompt, but it would have to fit a reindeer prompt for that to count. Maybe it has cursive or flowy font on the cover and then do Christmas Star. That is an option. Or I just take the L on that one and don't get a prompt fulfilled by reading Anastasia because I have plenty of plans to fulfill the other prompts during the month. So yeah, that is it for tonight. So yeah, I just wanted to pop in and give my final thoughts on The Ballad of Never After and talk about what prompts I've fulfilled so far for the Reindeer Readathon because I'm starting off strong. I'm really happy about that. So yeah, I will just check in with you all tomorrow sometime. All right, it is Thursday evening now and I have a few updates. So my first update is going to be about what I'm reading. So I started reading Anastasia by Sophie Lark and I'm close to 200 pages and uh, while I am enjoying it, I think that it was very mismarketed and misrepresented about what this actually is. So the book starts when Anastasia is 11 years old and I'm almost 200 pages in and she's 13 right now. So I'm like over 20% in and she's still a child. So this book was marketed as a spicy fantasy romance and it's reading much more just like a historical fantasy with like the potential for a romance later on. I have read reviews that say that she's still like 17, like 70% into the book, which I'm a little annoyed by honestly because that's like not what I signed up for. So the like romance doesn't really start until like the 80% mark. So I was expecting it to be like just a romance of them like as adults, but we're getting much more history, much more like politics. It's very slow, very slow going. I am still liking it though, but I think that if you're going to pick this up, you have to go in with the right expectations because like I am a little frustrated that I my expectations are not what this book is. So yeah, I just think that the that it was very misrepresented when it was marketed. That's where we're at with that. I am really liking it though. Like I am still enjoying it. It's just again, very slow historical fantasy at this point. And it's really, really long. Like I think it's too long. Those 200 pages could have been condensed down to like 50, honestly. It doesn't need to be this long, I don't think. It's 850 pages on Kindle. It's like 650 pages in paperback. It's like, like a thick, chunky book. And it just really does not need to be that long. But like I said, I am still enjoying the story. So I'm definitely still gonna continue on, but I do know that a lot of people are like, disappointed and are DNFing it because it is not what it was like marketed as. So yeah, that's what I've been reading. I had hoped that I would finish it for this vlog, but I have to post this vlog for Bookmas tomorrow and I just, there's no way that I'm going to be able to finish that by tomorrow. Maybe if I didn't work tomorrow, maybe I could finish it, but alas, I do. So I don't think I'll be finishing this book in this vlog. And then I want to do a like festive reading vlog where I read Christmas romances for next week. So I probably will just set this aside and pick it back up after I finish that vlog. So that's where we're at with 
Anastasia. Now I have some unboxing and stuff to show you here. So I did uh, get my book of the month box for December, but I needed to use the box to ship a Pango Books order out because I didn't have a box big enough. So I had to use that box. So I've already opened this, but I'll show you what I got anyways. So I've got the bookmark and then the seasonal sticker sheet that they give out, which is pretty cute. I like the little polar bear sleeping in the book of the month box. I think that's really cute. And the little snowman reading. That's cute too. So these are actually really cute. So I'm going to keep these and use them in my journal. But the book that I picked for the December book picks was Babel by RF Kuang. Now listen, I, hmm, I really don't have any plans to read this. <laughs> I picked this because I didn't like any of the other options and this one is getting the most buzz and I thought I don't know what I thought I thought I would just I thought I would just get this one but I don't really have any interest in reading this but I feel like everybody and their mother is reading this and like giving it five stars and honestly for some reason that is making me want to read it less I don't know. I, I did not like The Poppy War. I got like 330 pages into The Poppy War before I DNF'd it, which is also by this author. And so many people raved about The Poppy War and gave it five stars. Everybody was like, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be like one of your favorite fantasies. And I thought it was just like perfectly fine. And honestly, like kind of like slow and boring to a point so I DNF that one and now I feel like the same thing is happening with this one where everybody's like oh my god it's five stars it's gonna be so good and I don't think I'll like it but yeah I don't know honestly I don't know why I picked this one because like I really don't have any plans to read this but maybe I'll change my mind I don't know I don't know what I I don't know I don't know what to tell you and then because I am a book of the month BFF I get the book of the year for free and the book of the year this year was Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. So here it is. Here's the little book of the year 2022 sticker. This one, all I know about it is it's got something to do with like video games. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Um, so this is again something that I have like very little interest in reading but it was free so I just like grabbed it because maybe I'll change my mind I don't know why I do this so I got those two and then the add-on that I actually do have plans to read is Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion this is the second book in the Legendborn series and this was on my list of books 23 books that I want to read in 2023 so obviously since it was an add-on I figured I would just snag it as my add-on for December so there's my book of the month books. Now I did get a gift from my friend Maggie that I want to show you all. So this is uh, her Christmas gift to me and it is a Litographs t-shirt with the Night Court sigil on it. And if you can see like it's all the words from, I think this is just from Akatar. Ooh, Resand. Oh no, A Amarantha. Yeah, definitely definitely from Akatar. So it has the Night Court sigil on the front and then it has wings on the back and it looks literally I tried this on and the wings look so freaking cool. So I'm really excited about that and I love that it's words and it's so soft. So yeah I just wanted to show that because it's bookish and I love it. But now I have two little unboxings here that I thought I would do while we're here. So let's unbox this first one. I know what both of these are but who doesn't love an unboxing, am I right? So the first thing is this little sticker pack. And these are Akatar stickers, but not necessarily always Akatar because this is a Throne of Glass sticker. Look how cute. Oh, yeah, Throne of Glass is in here too. That's awesome. Here's a map of Prithian. Oh my god, these are so cute. Oh my god, look at that. I mean, it's feathered wings and that's not, that's not the bad boy wings, but it's still cute. <laughs> Here's a band-aid that says fairy smut. I think I might actually put this on the back of my Kindle. I've been looking for a little like narrow, sorry, can you even see that? I've been looking for a little narrow um, sticker that I could put right there. That would be really cute. I think I'm going to do that. Ooh, this one's pretty. I like that. Night Court Library card. That's adorable. 
don't want the hard days win. That's beautiful. Ooh, a crescent moon. They keep using um, to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. That's a frequent one on these stickers. Not complaining though, that's one of the best quotes ever. And the little wings. Oh my God, this one's so cute. It says House of Wind Book Club. Smutty books on the house. Look at that. That is adorable. Oh my God, these are so cute. <laughs> I'm so excited. So the reason that I bought those stickers was because of what's in this package. And that is my 2023 reading journal. So I get the same reading journal every year. This is the Paper Age Dotted Notebook in black. Um, I just get it off of Amazon. It's like $10, but it's really, really good quality. And I just love it. I've got three down here and then my 2022 reading journal is up there. And I just, I just really like it, but I do like to decorate the cover with stickers. So I have the wing stickers that I got from nook knack shop i think is what it's called i think i unboxed them in this video but i'm gonna use some of these stickers as well and then i have another set of stickers that i ordered that i'm going to use to decorate my reading journal for next year so that is very exciting but yeah that is going to be it for this little check-in i'll check in sometime tomorrow and let you know how much further i made it into anastasia and what my thoughts are at that point but I'm also planning to go to a hockey game tomorrow and I need to upload this video tomorrow. So I'm sure that my check-in tomorrow will be very brief. So I will see you all tomorrow. Hello everyone, it is Friday now and I'm on my lunch break and I just wanted to close out this vlog. I don't know why I didn't just like close it out last night. I'm about 30% into Anastasia now, but my thoughts are the exact same as they were last night when I talked about it. So I'm probably not going to get a lot more bread anyways because I'm going to a hockey game tonight. So yeah, I'm just gonna end the vlog here. So if you made it to the end of this video, leave a hockey emoji because of icebreaker and the fact that I'm going to a hockey game tonight, which I'm really excited for. Don't forget to click like and subscribe down below while you're down there to help support my channel and so you don't miss any of my book miss videos or any other bookish content for me. And thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next video for book miss day six. Bye.